Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Well, that depends on where you are. Today, I'm going to show you how to use AI to create effective Facebook meta business ads. It's going to drive business your way. Using an AI to market your meta business suite or Facebook, it's really going to take three tabs, four tabs to have open. You're going to want ChatGPT open, Buffer open, have your Facebook business suite open, or just the Facebook page, uh, your home page, and then have Canva open. We're going to start in ChatGPT. No matter what your business is, ask it for a prompt for something that relates to your business. If your business is leisure and travel, ask it for a leisure and travel prompt. Create a table of quotes focused on the health benefits of taking a short-term vacation. Certainly, here's a table. Awesome. We're off to a great start. Now I'm gonna ask ChatGPT to create 30 more. This is how we're interacting with uh, AI. And if we get it wrong, cause look, now it's not in a table, but it is creating those 30 prompts. Let's ask it to put it back in a table cause for our next step, we need all of this to go into a table cause we're gonna make multiple touch points using AI. So put, into table format. There we go. Now it's putting our prompts back into a table format. We're going to take our table format and let's go ahead and we're going to cut and copy that. Now that you have your table, paste it into Excel or any other sheet that you want to use in order just to format that table. And I'll show you how we're gonna use this for our next step. Now that we have everything formatted, let's go on to our next tab. Our next destination is Canva. We wanna to get to the Instagram Reels. If we go home, this is the home screen from Canva, how you open everything up. Come down here, it's the second tab from the top. Underneath projects, you see templates. From templates, we're gonna go to social media. Again, it's the second tab down on social media. Come down here to Instagram Reels. Instagram Reels work the same way as the Facebook Reels do. Now, if I haven't mentioned it yet, I want to mention it again. We're going to make every everything on here free. So let's go ahead, choose the free reels. And you can choose your style, your theme. I like to use ones that can be applied for just about anything. And there's tons and tons of these reels. Some of them you actually see if you go to the green screen on Facebook or Instagram. You already see these backgrounds. I think this Milky Way one really stands out to me. Let's keep on shining. And so now we can customize this template. If you scroll down, there's more like it. Remember those quotes that we grabbed from ChatGPT? This is where we get to use those. So now I want to customize this template. Here we go. Now it's popped up. One of the keys down here is I can see and I can control how long this video is gonna play for. We don't need it to play for that long. It's gonna have an intro and then we really need it to play for about six seconds. Now I wanna edit my template and make it mine. So first thing I'm gonna do is create a link, put my website in here. And for the text, I'm gonna grab the text from my first chat GPT description. Once I have the text copied, I'm going to head on back over to Canva and replace the text. And now I can display link mode or I can embed. If I embed whatever picture is on the cover of my website, that's what's going to happen. If I leave it as link, then when I post this to Meta Business, it's automatically going to add a button for people to uh, visit my website. See the website up here? And now I can click done, but now I need to edit this text. 
Once I've formatted my text, I do want to give attribution to the author of it. So I'm going to come over here to text and add a little bit of body text right there. Come back over. It's Dr. Rebecca Turner. Make sure she gets the attribution for this. Head back over to Canva. And that's Dr. Rebecca Turner. And we need to move this. And we'll put that one right there. To make our fonts match, I'll come up here and it is Amsterdam 2. So now those are synced up. If at any time you want to preview your advertisement, come down here, hit the play button. It's going to show you end to end what your advertisement is going to look like. After a brief escape from the routine is a powerful prescription for stress relief and improved mental health. Thank you, Dr. Rebecca Turner. If you're happy to do this by hand each time, you can go here to share now. You can either copy the link, you can download it, or you can right now share to social media. You can go to your Facebook page, you can do it as a Facebook story, Facebook group, Tumblr, there's lots of options here. You can even schedule it if you're a premium member on Canva with no extra steps. If you're still watching from here out, I'm gonna show you how to replicate this and do it as a bulk action. So our next stop is gonna be Buffer. Before we do that though, we're gonna come down here to our apps. On this apps tab, and I'm finding this here in the lower left corner. So I was up here at the share button and I'm coming down here to apps. Scroll down, land right here on bulk create. There's lots of stuff you can do in Canva. We're taking this very simple today. We're gonna go to bulk create. From Bulk Create, it might ask you to go ahead and create a 30-day temporary free account. You can cancel at any time, but like I said, we're going to do this for free. I have signed up. I'm not going to continue to pay for this, but I did sign up for the 30-day free account. If you want to do the Bulk Create, this is where you do the same. Okay, I'm going to take a final look. My icon all the way back. Start it over. And I think I need some music. To add music, go to Elements, Audio. Okay, Calm is definitely a Calm video. And like I said, Free, I'm gonna go to Free. And maybe Soft Dreamy. Yep, I'm gonna do that. And, oh, I added too many. So all I'm gonna do is right click and then delete track. Right click, delete track. Right click, delete track. I'm gonna bring it all the way to the front. Now let's try it again. I'm liking it much better with music. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to my apps. Once I'm in my apps, I'm doing my bulk create. I'm gonna upload my CSV. So remember when we save that data in Excel, we're gonna save it as a CSV. Got my documents and there it is. And I'm gonna open that up. Now remember when we saved to the Google Pages numbers or Excel, we had at the top of our table, we had two uh, captions. We had quote and author. We're going to see that same thing here. Quote and author. It wants to know where it's going to put those two fields. Now, if you're following along with me, we're going to connect data to your elements. We're going to start here with quote. Right click the element. The element is highlighted in purple. We're going to come down here to connect data. Do you see where it says connect data? We're going to connect this quote to that element, and it's gonna be the quote. 
Next, we want to connect the author. Right click, connect data. There's our author. Some of them are going to be unknown. That's okay. One, two, three, it's a three-step process. We're gonna come down here and hit continue. Generate 30 designs. Remember, we asked Chat to GTP to create 30 designs. Here's where it's gonna create 30 designs for us. And it's using this Milky Way to create them. You can create more, however, you might wanna switch it up so people don't get bored of just the Milky Way. And here we go. Now we have our first one, this is the one that we, we've already seen. This is the Dr. Rebecca Turner quote. But now it goes right into our next one. And this is an unknown. See, that's where I said some of them are gonna be unknown, but that's okay. But get this, now we have a full month's worth of touch points for our meta business suite, and we can have a full month's worth of touch points both on Instagram and on Facebook. One thing you'll notice about this Canva video is it plays like it's one big run on video. And even if you put it into grid view, you see it's broken up, but when we go to download it, it wants to download as just one long video. And really, we're after 30 individual touch points. We don't want one long video. So let's take it back out of grid view and then zoom in on our timeline here, right here at the bottom. Let's you zoom in. You can see that we have 60 total individual slides. And our next step we're gonna be doing, in this case, we'd be doing slide 50 and then slide 60 together. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up here to the share button and on the share button, we're gonna download. That's the very top one. And when we come here to download, we're gonna download all 60 pages and we're gonna download this as separate files. I don't know if we need to save the download settings right now, but now we are gonna go ahead and download that bulk creation, but we're gonna download it as individual files. And that's gonna be important for our next step. Well, we're waiting for this to download. One cool feature about Canva is if you ever want to swap out a template, remember we're up here, we're using this recently used template right up here, but you can come over to any template. So if I wanted to go to another one of these free templates, I can come over and how about this beach one? I can literally drag and drop and now uh, replace the current and look at that. Now overthinking will destroy your happiness and I have a brand new page. Comes with its own music for this one. This one has audio and that overrides the audio that was existing for that. If I want to get rid of it, now I'm back to my original. Now that everything is downloaded, it comes in this big zip file. You can't really do too much with a zip file. Right click on it, extract all. Once it says extract all, it's gonna say, where do you want me to send it? send it to a folder where you can find it. Once you have it extracted, we're going to schedule a post over here on Buffer. Let me show you how to do that next. Once I'm inside of Buffer, I can either go to this calendar view and do it by day, or if I'm on just today, I can go, hey, I'm gonna create a post. I'm gonna hit create post. Now I'm gonna drag or drop here. One easy way to do it is just to open up that file where I extracted all of those videos to. Remember I said we're gonna do one, two, three, four. I'm gonna take three and four, highlight both of those. I'm just gonna drag and drop them here. Once they're drag and dropped, I can choose to do these as a reel or I can come over here and do them as a post. If I do them as a reel, I've found that I get more reach. Now I can go ahead and share now. And if I want a preview, there's my preview of what it's gonna look like. And the sound is on there. It's just, I don't have the volume turned up on it. So now I can go ahead and share. And that way I can schedule out my touch points on my Meta Business Suite. The way, other way to do this is to go straight to the Meta Business Suite. And here I can do the same process 
have a little bit more control, but I can only do it on Meta. With Buffer, I can do it across a variety of social media platforms all in one. And here's our last tab. We just placed our ad here on Buffer and come over here to Facebook, turn the volume back on, and here we go. Here's our ad running live. This is actually our reel. If you wanna see what it's gonna look like for the user, there you go. And that's how you use AI to drive your meta business or Facebook touch points. This also shows up on Instagram, so it's being duly posted right now, and hopefully this helps drive people your way. Here's one more view of what it's going to look like when it scrolls across a guest or customer's reel. And here's that call to action button. So here's where we entered our web address. When people push it, it takes you over to your business listing or your website. Here's one more, just change the background again, has that call to action button, takes you away from Facebook, takes you to the home website. I really think AI can be used for good or evil. A lot of times you see the same method being used to capture kids' attention and keep them engaged in TikTok or YouTube shorts forever. But by doing this and breaking up your videos into small bite-sized chunks and then automating them, you're getting a touch point through your meta business to use AI for good, drive business your way. If you're a small business, regardless if you're an organic chicken egg farmer or you're a local CFO hired gun, you can get touch points with potential customers or existing clients every day so they know that you're thinking about them and you're using AI to do so to automate the process. And by doing that, you can put your own custom, really quality uh, layers in there also. So you have more than just the automated touch points going on. But those five second clips, six second clips, they add up. And somebody who might not be thinking about your business every day, hey, all of a sudden, you're top of mind. They go and click learn more or re-engage with this business. And now you have a new customer or returning customer.